let me heat emboss let me do something with using how you can make an enamel tile because that looks absolutely stunning right okay so this i am going to use i'm going to get shot of this fabulous stamp for a moment and find those amazing frames that we've got frame come here come here come here okay so what i'm going to be doing is using the most gorgeous frame right i just want to wipe that ink up and i'm going to do the frame in black on white card you know the other thing about this is if you have been tempted to buy as i was when i first started crafting lots and lots of different different colors of embossing powder you don't need to because the color will come from your ink pads and then all you're going to need is maybe a clear and a clear glitter that's it that's that's all you'll need so i'm just going to find my black that's smoked emerald that's a good start ha there we are jet black couldn't be darker if i wanted it so again lots and lots of light tapping going on here there we are and then we're going to stamp that down in the center there we go but again look at the fineness now look there's the stamp there's the stamp if you've ever used pigment inks before that this is not the result you expect to see it really is not the result you expect to see this is wow this is incredible detail for a pigment ink it really is i i can't tell you how stunning it is um, and if you've used them before you will know you will absolutely know so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to heat emboss this and then i'm going to cut out that square so right what we're going to do is heat emboss this to pick up all that detail you by the way you don't need to heat emboss clear pigment ink on nina solar white it will dry it will take slightly longer to dry than um, your water reactive or your quick dry inks obviously but it will dry you don't have to heat emboss it equally on glossy card if you're using it on a glossy card um, it will dry it will take ages if you leave it to dry naturally but it will you can force dry it with a heat gun um, to speed up the process and still get the glossy card coming through right let me just tip that away there we go and we'll pop this in and i'm just going to heat emboss this little frame okay and then we'll cut it out and then we'll make a tile in the center part try and keep your fingers out of the way here we go oh i just want you to see this because it makes me happy it makes me really happy watching that change maybe i'm just strange but it really does and you wait to see how happy I get when we create this enamel tile. I will be beyond happy. And as you can see, we're, we're not wafting this around. We are just moving it around as it's dry. I'm just moving to the other corner so I don't heat and boss my fingers. Because that would not be good. Okay. There we go. It seems almost sacrilegious. Look at that. It seems almost sacrilegious to lose that front bit, but actually it's the center square that I want. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So what we are going to do is just use our scissors to cut out this lovely center square. Here we go. And then we are going to create the most incredible color ombre of color in the center my egg applicator in picking up my color just on there and then we're going to go now look at that look at that color there wow that is like almost like i have heat embossed onto a piece 
of a yellow card, is it not? That colour is just perfect and a perfect, perfect blend. So what I want to do now is I want to add the fuchsia. Now the fuchsia will blend so you almost get like an orange on this outside edge where I go over. Look, can you see? You know how strong that fuchsia is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lovely blend of the orange and the yellow. Look at this. Look how sensationally these are blending. They are, without doubt, fantastic to use. Now, let me keep my fingers off. Look at that. Look at that blend. That is stunning. Isn't that? That's just like a sunset. Okay, before we heat emboss this, what we're going to do is add a sentiment into the center here as well. So, pop that there. And I'm going to with, I'm going to put my sentiment in, in black, and then we're going to heat emboss the whole lot. And I think we'll go for sending love. And this can be added to the pile of bits and pieces that we're sending out sending love and sending it out so grab my stamp and these are lovely clear acrylic stamps and I know you like those you like being able to see what you're doing using them on the platform just means that if I want to I can line this up so again a nice lot of ink going on there I know I've got the right ink pad because I, I can see it's brown in my hands we'll just pop those over there for a second and I think I want it up the other way. Now there's picky. There's picky. I want the darker bit at the bottom there. So then we're just going to stamp this down. There we go. Look again, beautiful, absolutely crisp, clear loveliness. It really is. So on top of that blend, what we're going to do now is tip a load of clear embossing powder. There we go. Well, bathed it in it, I have bathed it in it. Okay, tip it up. Now, what you can see now, I hope, is that is all cloudy. Now, I'm going to be a bit naughty. Rather than putting that back in the bottom, I'm going to put it way out of the way because I'm going to need that again in just a second. So what we're going to do is heat emboss this first layer and just have I got something to hold it with? Yes. OK, right. I'm only holding it down like this because it just makes my life easier. So again, we are just waiting till that clear. Now, do you know, this used to be called, this technique I'm showing you now, used to be called triple embossing. It was one of my absolute favorite techniques. And if you look at any of my early work that I used to do, you will see it featured every single time. Now, let me show you this very quick. Oh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Okay, very quickly. And you'll see it almost looks enamel, but it looks bubbly. Now, if you immediately dip this into this, there should be enough heat for it to stick. Oh, come here. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to heat that again, and then I'm immediately going to pop it back in there. And what you get is you build up this really thick layer of embossing on top of it. And what we'll do is just heating that, just heating that, just heating that. And you'll see what happens is that layer, it almost fills in like all the little indents that we've got in there as well. Do you know what? I'm going to tip that bit over there as well, rather than trying to scoop it up. Wow, that's a lot of embossing powder. Before I heat this bit, I am going to put that back in the bottle. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down. 
and carefully pop this away. Ooh, 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 ooh. Carefully, she says, getting it everywhere. It's close. That's the other. That's the other definition of carefully, which is called get it all over your glass mat. Before I heat emboss that, because I don't want to heat emboss my glass mat, I'm just going to do that. Otherwise, that that embossing powder will actually melt on my glass mat, and that would take forever to take off. So what this will have done is given me the most incredible, incredible um, thick layer, and it will just be like enameling. And I'll tell you another trick you can do with these when you've got this like this. If you then, there we go. If you then stick right, okay, let me keep my fingers out of the way and hold that to you now. Can you see the difference? Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely sensational? really does and you can use it to add that to the center of your cards and it just gives you a different look and a different texture love it love the love the effects that you can get with that